And then at the end of the day, I started. What I realized is that if I'm going to be cheated on, it better be by a man that's fine as hell. I'm tired of getting cheated on by these ugly ass men with an ugly bitch. Poor men. Like, you didn't even have no fucking standard when you cheated. Right. Is it, worse? is it better if they're cuter? Or I would rather get cheated on by a fine ass man than an ugly no, ass man. No, would you rather get a girl? Oh, I'd rather her be fine. Like, give me some yeah, fucking competition. Yeah, make yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Make it make sense. Too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's like, make it make sense. You need to make sure that you can actually stay over there. At this mm-hmm. point, at this point in my life, y'all, I'm just like, if that's what you want to do, like, just bring it to me. Like, let's just chat about that's it. That's how yeah, I feel about yeah. it. Yeah, like, you don't have to be, like, on the sneaky tip. Like, yeah. that's weird. I agree. Because my whole thing is... shoot started we are actually in alexandria virginia which is a little bit outside of washington dc this is like a set type of vibe they have like just props and things for you to use throughout the photo shoot so wayne and i know each other wayne is the guy with the curly hair the long curly hair Him and I know each other because I have actually worked for my sister for a very long time. So like, she was like, I'm so glad you're back from Nairobi just in time for my photo shoot. She actually pushed her photo shoot back so that I would be here because originally, if you guys remember, I had a ticket. I was supposed to be leaving Nairobi in like August but I kept like pushing my flight back first it was actually supposed to be July after my birthday then I was like no I'm gonna stay until August like I just kept finding reasons to stay so she was like listen like I need a for sure date that you're gonna be back so that I can book this photo shoot and make sure that you're there to creative direct it so we started off like really small she's super well known now in her niche now but like we used to have a budget of clothing for like $50 for two outfits 
now she can buy all the luxury items and things that she wants like but we started really from the ground up so her story is she used to do pageants all the time and just kept like losing 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 and it got so bad to the point where like my dad actually stopped even going to her pageants like because he just would be like yo they're gonna choose the white girl with blonde hair every time they're gonna choose this white girl with you know this every time because it was just really hard for her to win um so she switched from Miss Virginia to the Miss DC pageant, lost Miss DC, and redid it for a second time and then won Miss DC, right? So she wins Miss DC and then goes on to Miss USA and she won Miss USA. So from that point on, she started having like gigs and like photo shoots and like all these things at the time I was just teaching in Atlanta single mom working hard um there's a lot that you guys probably don't know about me I used to be a server I've always served and bartended like even when I don't need extra money you guys I have always worked so many jobs so that's why Kenya was like a good rest for me a good break like I have just always been accustomed to like working that's just how my dad raised us so I basically um, was her assistant for the longest and like she was like listen if I'm gonna have an assistant and be paying them X amount of money to travel with me to be with me 24 7 to work with me meet people with me why not it be you and then like she gets very irritated quickly she does not like really like socializing with people versus me who's very very social so it worked out me being her assistant so that she doesn't have like direct contact with people all the time. So like even today it's just a photo shoot or whatever. But usually I would be talking to the director who's there because sometimes it's like a professional, professional photo shoot. This photo shoot was managed by us only. But say she has like a gig or something, I do like the main talking to people is basically what I'm trying to say. So back to the point of the story, she finally won Miss USA, began traveling, and I became her assistant. So I know her well, I know her angles, I know um, just what's best for her, to be honest. I just know her so well. So everything goes very seamless when it's her and I working together. And I have had some of my best experiences with my big sister um, we travel together for business and leisure for business I have been to London with her Mexico with her and Antigua with her and then multiple US cities like I've been to basically every state me her and Wayne are like a trifecta so that was the point I was trying to get to Wayne in the curly hair has been her videographer for the past six years so like everywhere she goes, she even takes Wayne. So like it's a it's a trio vibe going on. So when I left to Kenya, that was something she was really kind of like bummed about, I could say, because she had to get a new assistant. So she did ask me to replace myself. So I ended up giving her the contact for one of my former students, Kamor who goes to a school in Washington DC right now and I knew she could like use the extra money. She got a scholarship from Atlanta to Washington DC, a university there. So now she works with my sister and travels with her. So for this photo shoot, Kamora is not there. My sister really just wanted me there and we just had so much fun. As you can see, I'm just like taking care of the small things, take this off, put this on. I don't like this lighting on her, let's change this, princess is fixing her hair, and all these things. So, I really truly do enjoy doing this. I would not do it for anybody else though, that's not my vibe. Like, I really like to focus on myself. So the one good thing that we have going on is a mutual love for social media as well. So like, when she won Miss USA, of course her social media just went crazy. It went crazy. So like, I've always helped her with engagement. 
um, teaching her to always comment back to followers. So a lot of the things that I even do to grow my own YouTube, to grow my Instagram, to grow my TikTok, it's just things that I've just been used to because I've always done it for her. Which is really cool. So that's something we both just love, like taking pictures, taking videos, and doing all these things. That's something that we both really enjoy. So it's pretty awesome. I love both of my big sisters. I'm really, really blessed. She is truly one of my best friends. I don't know if you guys remember a video from when I came home for break. It was like back in the States, back to the USA or whatever. It was just for a week in March, but she was talking to the camera and saying how she doesn't really like me living out of the country because she wants to like raise our kids together and like she just wants me to be like active in her life and things like that. So it just felt really good to like kind of be in my niche, helping her out, doing our thing whatever teamwork makes the dream work she's a pretty cool boss as well so it's always a vibe I've met so many cool people through her and she just really trusts my judgment which I really appreciate so even the girl doing her hair right now princess she's got me and this is my friend I met princess because she started doing my hair and I just trusted her to always be on time and professional and to do Deshauna's hair so then she started doing Deshauna's hair. She does Brayson's hair. Um, and I just love Princess. I've loved Princess from the day that I met her in high school. We've always just had a really good connection. So this is us just kind of like kicking shit, having fun, same old, same old with her. Her, She woke up early. It doesn't show it here. Princess didn't do her makeup, but she woke up early and went to go get her makeup done. And we're just talking. So me and her used to actually have a podcast together as well called Some School. And we used to do podcasts together. We just always really collaborated on a lot of things together. So this is a big part of my life when I come home. I actually am going to Chicago at some point to help her pack up her stuff because she is moving in with her boyfriend and getting married soon and just starting a new chapter in her life. So I wanna be there to help her like close out her old chapter. So this is us just kicking shit. I picked out all her outfits for the shoot down to the jewelry and that's also another side hustle. So like people be like, damn girl, like you the most, proficient broke unemployed not broke rich jobless person i know <laughs> but it's honestly because um i also have always done things for her so even when i was in nairobi she would like pay me every month to style her for her content shoots on her instagram and like give her real ideas and stuff like she has been a really big part of me expressing myself through her, through myself. She always, I can say, like, motivates me. She encourages me. She's always told me from the beginning, like, girl, stop teaching. She has been telling me this from the beginning. I swear to God, like, stop teaching and get out here in these streets. Like, you're it every time we go somewhere people just love your personality it's like a good look like you're beautiful it's a vibe like make it work outside of the classroom and I am like finally starting to manifest my dreams that she has for me as well as being able to kind of focus on her again as well so shooting is definitely not easy y'all it's draining this video is 20 minutes but we were there for five hours and a lot of these clips are even like fast forwarded eight times literally like it can be really draining you could be on the same look for like an hour but she's always a really good sport about it which is really good. Wayne is really, really patient. So the guy in the dreads, his name is Marcel. He was the photographer and Wayne was making a video for behind the scenes for us to have. So we tried to do like just some different things with this. Um, we got some props, some 
umbrellas, the classic telephone. I used Pinterest to come up with the mood board for each princess is like, girl, stop recording me when I don't have on makeup, but I think she looks beautiful. We tried this wall background, but it was just like giving really cheap. We tried to make fetch happen, but it was really just not the vibe. But it was a cool shoe overall. One of the biggest things that I can say that my sister has taught me, honestly, is like perseverance. Perseverance, like she has just dealt with a lot. And like when she wasn't winning Miss USA, everyone kept telling her to quit. Everybody, like even people in my family, you guys, just telling her, girl, if you do not stop spending money on pageants, no, we're not gonna loan you more money for dress. Oh, focus on your job, focus on your military stuff. And like, she just didn't listen. She just kept going and like proved it to herself, proved it to the world. When she won Miss USA, people were actually being really mean to her. Like, oh, this is an ugly Miss USA. Oh, like just anti-black girl type vibes when literally she's gorgeous. And like, people were just being so rude a lot of hate towards her and like she pushed through that you know after Miss USA because what people think people think Miss USA's get paid so much which she'll talk about in our next little podcast interview I'm gonna post people think Miss USA's get paid so much and they don't right so like even during Miss USA she was struggling like it wasn't all that it was cracked up to be and it was supposed to be and like she just kept going after Miss USA, she didn't really want to go back to the normal government military job. And it was rough for her, you know. She didn't really have an income. Motivational speaking is not something that's super easy to get into. And she pressed her way through that. Had to start speaking for free. You know, all these things just to hustle and get where she is today. Where she can get paid up to like $10,000. $20,000 for a speech, you know? So I don't know. She just always really motivates me to do what I love and she supports me. And like, if I ever need anything, she gives it to me. And like, she's just really like the epitome of such a loving and encouraging big sister. So Deshauna Barber, if you are listening to this right now, Know that your little sister really loves you. I cherish you. Um, she wanted to come to Nairobi so bad, but when it was booked, something was like coming up. And then she was supposed to come to Zanzibar in December, but her boyfriend is throwing her a surprise party. So she was a little disappointed about that, but I will be bringing her to Nairobi and showing her those vibes. She has not been to Africa yet and she really really wants to but she hasn't been able to because as you guys can see she is booked and busy so 